So one of my mining rigs is one year old. It has been mining for 24 seven. And I was like, hey man, I really never clean my mining rig. So how dirty are the GPUs inside of my mining rig right now? After one year of mining? Well, let's find out. Okay, so today I'm showing you the RX 470 from Sapphire. The card is filled with dust in the bottom over there and also the heatsink is filled with dust all over the place. Even the fans have like little hairs and stuff and little dust buildups everywhere on the card are seenable. So it's just absolutely crazy that the card is still working just fine with all this dust and even the backside is fairly dusty from the other cards blowing around there. So it's just absolutely crazy how dusty these cards can be and that you don't have to clean them for a full year. So the next step was to take the card apart and put it back together after I cleaned it. So I was just unscrewing all the screws and that's a good tip as well. Always place the screws in an order as you screw them out because these screws have different lengths and stuff and if you place one wrong or something you could have a problem with your card so make sure you will absolutely do no uh, lose of screws because that would be really bad for your card and reselling the card as well some cards also have warranty stickers on their uh, on their little screws so make sure that your card doesn't have that for some reason sapphire don't but msi for example does have the the warranty stickers on it but to be honest, these screws came off really easily, maybe because of the vibration of the card for a full year running 24 seven. But I'm gonna skip this part for you guys because it's gonna take a while to unscrew all these little screws. So I'm gonna fast forward this for you guys and I'll be back. So this card is just absolutely dirty from the inside outside as you can see and the cables for the fans getting them off is really tough. But for people that live in really hot countries I would recommend cleaning your cards way more than once a year because I have a really cold climate so I'm having no trouble with these cards but if your cards are really hot and I would really recommend cleaning them more often because it will save you a few degrees celsius. So I'm going to show you really quickly how dirty it is. The inside of the fans were like totally dusty and also the heatsink was pretty easy to take off to be honest. It just it just pops on there really easily. They've they've made a really good design for that. But as you can see it's really all over the place on the board, on the heatsink, everywhere. There's even some on the back plate. But to be honest, this is just from one year mining and doing no cleaning so to be honest this is pretty good for one year of no cleaning be honest this is just marvelous it looks pretty good but that wasn't the only problem on the gpu core there was dried out thermal paste i didn't even know you can dry out thermal paste this way so i had to replace that in a, in uh in a bit it, w it was really like a stone i had to scratch it off so it's time to speed up the video and clean the GPU.
So now we have a brand new cleaned RX470. Hopefully you all enjoyed this video. See you guys in the next one.